Ultimately, the goal in teaching SIOP lessons is to be able to create your own SIOP lesson plans. But what about the lesson plans that are part of your commercial reading, language arts, social studies, or history, mathematics, and science programs? Well, these can be SIOPized as well by following these simple steps. Begin with the SIOP protocol or lesson plan checklist close at hand and read through the commercial lesson plan. Check each of the SIOP components to identify SIOP features that are already present in the existing plan. For example, consider lesson preparation. The lesson has clearly stated content goals, but there is no language objective, so one or two language objectives or targets or goals must be added. Building background. While there may be ample background building at the beginning of the lesson, there is no mention of explicitly linking past learning to the current lesson, so this feature must be added to the plan. Interaction. The lesson plan includes content information that must be conveyed to students, but there's no mention of how to convey it other than through lecture. So add a meaningful activity during which students are engaged with partners or small groups in talking, reading, and writing about the content material. Continue in this manner with each of the SIOP components and features. While SIOPizing an existing plan may sound like more work than creating an original lesson plan in the first place, you will find that the process moves along quickly once you are very familiar with the 30 instructional features in the SIOP model. Most likely, in today's commercial programs, there are meaningful activities and supplemental ideas that you can use in your SIOP lesson plans. Remember that SIOP is curriculum neutral and materials neutral. Your job is to make the academic content and academic language in the lesson plan accessible. And that happens when your lessons are sciopized. <laughs>